Today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Winch S5500 SR Winch. The Super Winch trailer winch is going to be able to pull 5,500 pounds. It's going to feature a sealed 3.6 horsepower permanent magnet motor that's driven through an all steel three stage planetary gearbox. With no load on the line, we're looking at 24 feet per minute uh, when it comes to the line pull speed. Um, the winch is designed for 12 volt DC systems. Now the winch, as you can see, has a very clean and sleek design, really nice look to it. It's going to contain a synthetic rope uh, that's going to measure a quarter of an inch in diameter by 60 feet long, and it's going to come with the safety hook. It's got the nice safety latch on there to prevent accidental disconnecting, and it's going to come with the hand saver strap. Now that's all just held on there with the included pin and clip. The synthetic rope is going to be protected really well. Uh, we have the uh, Haas Fairlead right here with the stainless steel rollers. So that's gonna protect um, the rope from wear and tear. So not only does it protect the rope, but it's gonna help with re-spooling back around the drum correctly. Now the drum on the unit's gonna feature a two-hole design that's gonna prevent rope from detaching. So it's held in there very securely. It's also gonna feature this nice drum cover that's gonna keep the elements off of our rope and out of the drum area. Uh, so that's nice. It can be easily removed if needed. Um, and then you can easily place it back on just push it down and it's just going to snap into place. The unit's going to feature a free spooling clutch that's going to be activated by the innovative kick flip aluminum lever. Easily accessible right here on the top of the winch. Um, right now it's in the engaged position so that means that we would be able to get this fully connected to the battery, connect the included remote control and we could extend the line out or bring it in. So uh, if we want to move it to a free spool position all we have to do is take this lever and flip it up. Very easy to do so, it's very convenient and um, just easily accessible. So that's very easy to do. Again, that's going to be aluminum construction. They're calling that the kick flip lever. Uh, just flip it up for free spool and then back down to engage the system for winching. The winch comes pre-wired. Um, it's going to have the circuit breaker pre-installed onto the positive battery cable. So I'm going to flip this around so you can see that a little bit better. So you'll see right here that we have the positive um, and negative battery cables coming out of the winch, so it's all pre-wired internally. Now these wires are gonna measure about five feet long, so you have plenty of length to get it connected to a battery. And then you can see that it has the black box here on the red wire. Uh, that's gonna be where the circuit breaker is located. And each cable is gonna have the ring terminals already installed, that way you can easily get it connected to your battery. So again, pre-wired makes the installation of the unit uh, very simple, very quick, and very easy. Also, when it comes to the installation of the winch onto a mounting surface, again, this is a trailer winch. Uh, it's not meant for automotive winches or applications, um, trailer use only. The installation of the winch is simple. It's gonna come with the mounting hardware, as you can see laid out right here. Um, and it's gonna have the base plate, which the winch is already mounted to, as well as um, the fair lead. Really nice design. I'm going to go and flip this up so you can see the underside of it. Now when it comes to getting it installed there's going to be two different installation options or two different ways that you can get this mounted. You can use the two bolt holes located right here in the center. Now the unit's going to come with all your hardware so it's going to come with four uh, bolts. You can use two of those to get it mounted through these two pieces right here. When using this option, this is gonna be the most common option, when using this option, you do not have to remove the plate from the bottom of the winch. You might have to uh, unspool some rope so you can gain access to the mount holes from the top of the winch, um, but you do not have to remove that plate. Now you can use the four bolt pattern, which would require that you remove the base plate from the winch, which would require removing uh, these four pieces of hardware right here, and then use the included hardware, the four bolts, to go through the mounting surface, then through the base plate, and then back into the winch housing. Um, so those are your options there. While we have this flipped up, I want to go ahead and give you some measurements real quick. We're going to go ahead and take just a measurement of the uh, base plate. So going this direction, we're looking at about seven inches. Going this direction, all the way out to the outer point of the aluminum, or excuse me, the, um, the Haas Fairlead, again, that's going to have the steel, stainless steel rollers. Um, that's going to be about eight and one quarter. So that's going to be kind of that mounting surface. Now, these two holes right here are going to be separated on center 
by 3 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. These two holes, four and a half inches. These two holes on center, six inches. Uh, the Fairlead on the unit is a hybrid construction, so it's going to be built from stainless steel, which is the rollers, and then aluminum for a lightweight design. It's also going to come with your remote control. This is going to control the in and out functions of the winch, 30 feet long, so that way you can really stand anywhere around the trailer where you need to. Uh, the plug on this end simply connects to the port right here on top of the winch, so it's very easy to gain access to. You plug it together, um, and that's really all there is to it. When it's not being used, go ahead and put that cap back over to keep dirt and grime and moisture out of the connection points. Uh, but the 30-foot uh, remote control is included. Now this winch is going to feature a gear ratio of 185 to 1. It does feature a sealed solenoid that is circuit breaker protected. Uh, the braking on the system is an automatic load holding brake at 100%. So that's a nice design of the winch itself. Um, talking about the drum real quick, the diameter is 2.5 inches. The drum length is 4.87 inches. Uh, the weight of the winch with the synthetic rope installed is going to be about 42 pounds. Now with one layer of rope on the drum, this winch has a pulling capacity of 5,500 pounds. With five layers of rope on the drum, the winch has a pulling capacity of 3,040 pounds. With no load on the line, the line speed is 24 feet per minute and the amp draw is 50 amps. With max load of 5,500 pounds on the line, the line speed is 5 feet per minute and the amp draw is 340 amps. This winch is covered with a limited lifetime warranty and a three-year warranty on the solenoid. Um, we already took a measurement of the base plate. We already took measurements of the mounting holes. And so now I just kind of want to go over some measurements of the actual winch itself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the height measurements. Two height measurements I want to give you. One is going to be to this point right here. The other one is going to be to the highest point, which is the top of the lever. So going straight out to this point here, that's going to give us a measurement of uh, about six and one quarter of an inch tall to the top of the lever. If we go straight out, that's going to give us a measurement of um, about seven and one eighth of an inch tall. Length and width. Starting with the overall length, uh, I'm going to give you an overhead shot here so you can better see that. From end to end, this is going to give us a measurement right around 19 inches, maybe 19 and one eighth of an inch, but it's right in that ballpark. And then the width measurement, measuring right here, this is going to give us a width of about five and three quarters of an inch wide. Now keep in mind the widest point is at the base plate and that width again measured eight and one quarter inches. That's going to do it for today's look at the Super Winch S5500 SR Winch.